There has never been a greater time than now to invest in the Metro Detroit area, and there is no other investment firm better qualified than Platinum Real Estate Holdings. With 40 years' experience and over 1,000 homes sold, let Platinum Real Estate Holdings assist you with the purchase of a city-certified home of the highest quality, turnkey properties, screen renters, yielding instant cash flow. Well, what are you waiting for? Call or visit us online today. An upscale riverfront development in Detroit moves forward. The long-deferred dream of creating an upscale neighborhood along downtown Detroit's riverfront gets a kickstart Tuesday morning. A $65 million, 270 apartment complex called Orleans Landing has its groundbreaking on an empty patch of Atwater. There's no doubt, it's a sweet location. Orleans Landing will be next to the new Michigan Department of Natural Resources Outdoor Adventure Center and the Dequinda Cut Pedestrian Bike Path. The Detroit River is one block away. Downtown, Belle Isle, Eastern Market are just minutes away. One thing is true, the promise of filling the East Riverfront with a mix of upscale housing and inviting public spaces continues to be a major goal of the city officials and developers. East Riverfront runs from downtown along the Detroit River and south of Jefferson Avenue to the MacArthur Bridge, leading to Belle Isle Park. In the 19th and 20th centuries, it was mainly an industrial and warehouse district. The riverfront could be the next major neighborhood, said Eric Larson, CEO of the Downtown Detroit Partnership. Indian Village Dream House wants 530 k Yeah, you heard me right. This beautiful 1899 Colonial Revival on Iroquois Street has a prestigious Indian Village address and a pedigree to match. Built in 1899, the original owner, Henry L. Walker, was the son of the owner-editor of the Detroit Free Press and a very successful businessman in his own right. As the founder of an electrical company, Walker commissioned Roger and McFarland to design a six-bedroom, four-bath home with over 4,000 square feet of living space. The house makes a very attractive first impression. Outside, you see a brick facade and tall columns and spiderweb framing in the first floor windows that lends a touch of whimsy. The home welcomes guests with a formal foyer and a graceful stare. There's a library and multiple fireplaces to make a snowy Michigan night seem a bit cozier. The kitchen has modern updates but maintain some of the house's old character with exposed brick walls. The kitchen has double ovens and has a slightly irregular double sink. The brick is pretty as is the tile floor but the track lights, well, they don't quite say turn of the century charm. The living room and bedrooms make up for this too modern touch. A child's room even has its own fireplace, which seems to have decals on it. At least we hope the polka dots and whatever illegible inspirational message we see in pictures of that fireplace aren't permanent. Then again, when you're spending a half a million dollars, what's a little sandblasting on the fireplace? Pennies by comparison to the mortgage. This house would make a great family home, given the large backyard and modern conveniences. The entire third floor has been turned into a master suite. This luxurious space has its own fireplace, a gigantic dressing room, and an in-suite bath with a jetted tub. The mechanicals and roof are updated, and the house has a gated driveway leading to a full two-car garage. This property also has six years left as part of an NEZ tax abatement, so that builds in some decent savings too. This has been your weekly real estate investment news recap. Visit Platinum Real Estate Holdings for more real estate news and view our latest turnkey properties.